because I think you're quite brilliant that woke is a word used by the black community to note that we must be aware of social injustices. But we're and like, right, why is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. And, and originally that was uh, absolutely a great thing. Alert to injustice. Who's not fat? But words do migrate. What's up, Peter? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back on a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Bill Maher trashes woke culture in front of Whoopi goes back. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I'd love to check the video out for you guys. Let's get right into this video. Tell me that the left hasn't changed. I'm, I mean, I'm old enough to remember when it was the conservatives who hated the Jews. Yeah. Okay. This famous American comedian just humiliated woke culture, but this time not on a stand-up comedy stage. However, that didn't stop him from making a complete ridicule of the woke culture and a complete fool of all those who consider themselves woke. You see, Bill Maher, America's beloved comedian, writer, and political commentator, had some really strong opinions to share on The View. So much so that Whoopi Goldberg appeared to be eager to break off a slice of controversy to pounce on. And so you can't really defend no. that on the other no, side. No, you can't. And, but before we go, I want to say... No, we're not going anywhere. No. Yeah. Okay, but I just want to say one thing, as we were talking in the break. <laughs> but where exactly did this discussion originate from? Well, none other than one of the most misused and most controversial of topics in Hollywood, woke culture. I mean, just check out how much Marr himself seems to be steering clear from the word itself. Woke is what was sort of ruining everything, and I know that you're... A, a, no, I didn't say ruining everything. I said that's why Trump could get reelected. That's why Trump... Later on in this video, you'd see just how much Bill Maher destroyed the woke culture with impressive arguments. But apparently the term woke uh, seems to be a triggering and misunderstood word. Before he went on to thrash it, he went on to say this. Now, I'll use any term you want, because maybe that is a word that's triggering, and so we let's not use that word. I don't know, want to call it the, the super far left? But don't tell me the left had... The super far right. We well, talk about the left. Well, then okay, I but cool. we talked about that. I mean, I think we agree about... And here's where it gets interesting. In another interview, Bill did not shy away from talking about the woke culture, mm. or even using the term wokeness. As a matter of fact, he went ahead to define it and said some pretty blunt words. How do you define wokeness? Because I hear people use the term all the time, and it means something different to, to everybody. Well, again, I think it's this collection of ideas that uh, are not building on liberalism, but very often undoing it. I mean, five years ago, I, Abraham Lincoln was not a controversial figure among liberals. We liked him. <laughs> now they take his name off schools and tear down his statues. Really? Lincoln isn't good enough for you? But as threatening huh. as the word woke is, Bill goes on to say it's because the left has changed from what it originally used to be. And in a pretty bold statement, he goes on to say what he thinks the bigger threat to society is, and it is not the woke left. So we talked about that. I mean, I think we agree about the danger of the super far right. And I, well, you know, I can't say it enough. I think they're the bigger threat. Now, if you listen to this fragment, it seems Bill agrees on the far right being the most dangerous and a bigger threat. But of course, it didn't end here. This is where things get a little dark. Um, but don't tell me that the left hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm old enough to remember when it was the conservatives who hated the Jews. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a joke, but... <laughs> See how quiet everyone got when he said it? Hmm. It might be a dark joke, but Bill contends that it's true and takes nothing away from his point. If you know Bill, you know he's holding back in this interview. Bill has been known to rip the woke culture apart in several other interviews in the past. For instance, in a CNN interview in 2022, Bill criticizes woke people as doing and believing in things that don't make sense. But there's a reason why the term woke has come to uh, signify going too far and doing things that don't make sense. So according to sure. Bill, those who believe in wokeness are going too far. So this is probably why he would go to the extreme to criticize them as well. In yet another interview Bill had with DeSantis on the 30th of September, 2023, Bill wasn't holding back and sharing his opinions about wokeness. I'm fed up with woke too. That's why I have trouble with friends in Hollywood. 
I'm an old school liberal, and that's a whole different thing than woke. And I'm sympathetic to you because, you know, you very often like take on an issue where I feel like, yeah, there is crazy stuff going on in schools. There is crazy stuff. But the problem is it doesn't resonate with a lot of people who don't see it for whatever reason. Back to The View with Whoppy Goldberg, more to his point, Bill expressed just how senseless he believed the woke to be when college students protested and began waving Hamas flags. It's not hard to see how shocked Bill is here. True. I mean, you know, if, if I had any doubt that I was right about the change that's happened in the left, watching people protest for a terrorist organization like Hamas, uh, that straightened me up pretty quick. But Bill has always been straightened with his stance on the woke culture. As you might imagine, he minces no words on his own show, Real Time with Bill. World, when truth conflicts with narrative, it's the truth that has to apologize. Being woke is like a magic moral time machine where you judge everybody against what you imagine you would have done in 1066 and you always win. In not so subtle terms, Bill contends that there is the truth and there is the narrative the woke culture would like to uphold. And sadly, when the two conflict, the truth always loses. So now apparently the woke culture is being painted like some theme of terror. But when Bill was asked about terrorism and Hamas, what he said next was interesting. Let me tell you, if you're for Hamas, just live in Gaza for a day. And I'm not talking about while the war is on. I mean, before the war. Trust me, you would go running and screaming and begging to live in Tel Aviv. Hmm. While still being on the subject of Hamas and the war that's going on with Israel, Bill poses a question of his own. Now, this is a war. Do you think Hamas needs to be destroyed? This is the question. Yeah. Do you, you do? Yes. So how okay, well, I, with a ceasefire? All right. So Hamas needs to be destroyed because they are a terrorist organization who, have, who say openly that they want to commit genocide on the Jewish people, on the state of Israel. That's what from the river to the sea means. Sure. Anyone would agree that a terrorist organization needs to be destroyed. But when Bill posed another question on the subject, the place got real quiet. Why? We'll get to that, but first, listen to the question. So if they need to be destroyed, how do we do that? It's, it's a war. Um, I don't know how to do that. In one sentence, Bill showed the world that you can have all the opinions in the world, but in the end, even he admits he has no idea how to go about it. And everyone on the table got quiet too, because they too had no idea. So what then is the actual way forward? Here's a way to stop that. Stop attacking Israel. What is interesting about this is how the solution to the war that Bill offers is really quite simple and straightforward. But while everyone claps, notice the three women on the table that did not. Mm. Well, they probably didn't agree that Israel should stop being attacked. But unlike the war, at least when it came down to the news and media and how they only show you what they want you to see, Whoopi Goldberg had some strong thoughts to share. I have a question for you because I don't know if you noticed what I've noticed. But I find that oftentimes when I'm watching the news, I'm only getting portions because one of the things that happens, I was listening to you talk about, he, you know, the kids that had the Hamas uh, flags. I, it reminded me of when people were saying Antifa is there, you know, and doing it. So bad players show up and make stuff happen. But do you find that it, the view that we are being shown seems to be meant to guide us into thinking about people one way when in fact it may be a much bigger conversation. In her words, the news seems to only show a side to the story and apparently exists to guide the viewers in a way that controls their thoughts away from or towards what is really happening. And finally, Bill and Whoopi seem to agree on this. According to them, what the news shows is a problem and Bill agreed completely. But no one was prepared for how Bill continued to troll the media. I mean, I used to be able to watch the nightly news, for example. I can't do it. I mean, f first of all, it's, it should be called, here's some video we found that's fun to watch. That's not the news. Yeah. You know, like anything that happens on a plane. Like, the plane skidded off the runway. So what? <laughs> Call me when anybody died. And it's not, the door fell <laughs> off. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. On one hand, the type of content the news seems to report is stuff that has no far-reaching value. And while what happens on a plane if no one dies is really a whole lot of nothing, the news needs to do better, Bill says. Oh, but if you think he is done yet, think again. And, you know, it's just nothing. Yeah. And, and it's narrative over truth. <clears throat> you know, yeah. I mean, it's not like when I hear people talk on either side of it, 
I always think they're lying. They're just telling me half of it. Yeah. yeah. Narrative over truth. Pretty bold words there. And because of this, Bill says it affects how he interacts with people who watch the news. For some reason, it is hard to believe them and take their word for it. Well, in just a few minutes, the woke culture and even the media have received a huge telling off. But Bill himself was not exempted. His telling off appeared subtle, but it was ever present. See, I think we're tribal now, which is not good. And I think there's four tribes. Basically, there's old school liberals, which I would mostly count myself as old school conservatives. There's still some of those You've left. Changed, though. Has Bill Maher really changed from being an old school liberal as he claims? For years, he has held up this identity. But on this show, a subtle reminder that he is not who he says he is slips into the conversation. Yeah. How does Bill respond? We'll get to that. But Bill first starts by talking about homelessness and how liberals respond to them versus the woke. The liberal view of that was for compassion's sake, we're the liberals, for compassion, let's get these people off the street. That's not the view of the whatever word we're going to come up with for this. Their view of the homeless is uh, they're an endangered species that needs to be protected in their natural habitat, living their best life under a bridge, yeah. you know? That puts things a bit in perspective on how liberals and the woke approach social issues. So back to the question of whether or not Bill changed, his answer could not have been more clear. Crazy. That's the kind of things I haven't changed on that. I still think we should get these people off the street. That's yeah. the compassion sake. So I didn't change, they changed, and there's lots of examples of that. And apparently, Biden was used as an example of how the media only shows what is interesting and sexy to the public. It's yeah. the reason I think that we don't know about Biden's accomplishments, because it's too boring to say, he fixed the infrastructure, he fixed the economy. That's sexy. No one wants that's to and they know that, you know, who's going to make key. But back to the woke culture and how it seems to have been bastardized and co-opted by other communities, thereby losing its meaning. Because I think you're quite brilliant that woke is a word used by the black community to note that we must be aware of social injustices but we're and like right why is that a bad thing it's not a bad thing and, and originally that was uh, absolutely a great thing alert to injustice who's not fat but words do migrate hmm. well be that as it may bill contends that words do migrate and although that's what the word means in the black community which is not a bad thing it has migrated beyond them true and has a whole other meaning now but regardless there is no question where bill stands on the issue of wokeness Time and time again, he has been vocal about his thoughts. But perhaps no other time has Bill hit the head on the nail of his arguments than when he said this. I mean, the girl who hates girly stuff just needs to learn that being female doesn't mean you have to act like a Kardashian. Maybe childhood makes you sad sometimes, and there are other solutions besides hand me the dick saw. The woke people certainly won't like that one. But what do you think about the woke culture? and the social cold war between the liberals and conservatives. Do you agree with Bill's stance on the matter? Bill Ma is really an intellectual man, really smart, and I love his uh, response to to all the questions they ask him. And the truth of the matter is that um, woke culture is, is not what people think it is. It's very, very terrible. Because why? Wets do migrate, according to what it says. Um, she that the, the woman in the and the view she asked him a question about um uh, black we use the word woke for social injustice you don't tell me people use the word woke for just social injustice we all know social injustice is really really bad and you using the word that is because the yeah, people are turning woke because of social injustice is very very silly that is not true and number two words do migrate right now the woke culture right now is not for social injustice or anything it's terrible it feels as if anyone who wants to transgender and or who does not believe in their body they are supposed to be um they feel like they're in the wrong body a woman who feels that she's the wrong body she ought to be a man who join the work and uh, it's it's not personal it's not personal they use it for their own advantage it's not for it's not for fighting for anything it's just personal and Bima, yeah, is very, very clever. He does not support woke. It's very evident. The evidence is pure and clean that he does not support woke culture. Me too, I never support woke culture. It's how he answers them that marvels me. He does not give them what they want. He gives them what he believes in. 
And irrespective of what people feel like he has changed or the people in the view, they believe he has changed from old labor, he has literally changed nothing. Bill Maher is a comedian. He's someone who is an amazing guest and someone who is a beautiful host. And his words are really, really precise. He does not dodge or change words like he says something today, then a few years later he says something different. He is precise. He's someone who keeps up to what he says. He's someone who believes in the old labors. And what is the old labors? Compassion. They, that's what they stand for. Compassion to get people off the streets. It, it keeps on saying that ever since. This man is a very intellectual man. He's someone who is smart and someone who stands for what he believes in. Right now, uh, um, he made a statement that the, the um, work culture and the labors are different. And it's true. People are merging them together that once one's in labor, they, they believe in the work. He's stating the fact that he's an old labor. He, he didn't just say he's a labor. He's an old labor. That he believes in compassion. That right now, what people, what we are all seeing right now is a migration. People are turning things into different parts. Like they are making it seems as if um laborers believe in all these woke cultures. Whereas him himself is an old laborer and he doesn't believe in that. He despised that a lot. And he's very precise in his answer. Uh, that is the, pre the precision for me is what I, I love about the man. He's someone who does not shift away from his weights. He keeps it steady. I love how he answered um, the view. I love how he responded to them. Also, the aspect of the news. Right now, the news only show people what they want to see. And that is the, that is the truth of the matter. If it's something that is not what they are not supposed to see, they won't show them. They only show them problems and chaos and what they what and put a narrative of fear around people. Like they already know people's response before they will show them what they wanted to see. So it's it's kinda like it's kinda like um watching news itself shifts your narrative about things. So I love how he answers them. I love how he was very precise. I love how he is someone of intellect and honorable character for me. Bimar is really, really honorable, and I love how he really answered the entire question. This was lovely to watch. Um, comment down below, think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. He actually humiliated the view, and also um, Whoopi goes back because his answers right here was not what they actually expected. Uh, he actually humiliated them, playing live on TV, <laughs> and he has no like remorse about it or was this scared about his answers. No, he was being truthful, and I respect him for that. Comment down below what to think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Poof. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales on.